Puerto Rico, 2011. A scientific conference. Two women meet at a cafe. Emmanuel Charpentier, a French microbiologist. Jennifer Doudna, an American biochemist. They start talking about bacteria. How bacteria defend themselves against viruses. It's a casual conversation. But within two years, they invent something that changes medicine forever. They call it genetic scissors. Here's what they discovered. Bacteria have this immune system called CRISPR. It remembers viruses that attacked it before. And it uses a protein called Cas9 like a pair of scissors to cut up viral DNA. Charpentier and Doudna realized something. If bacteria can use this to cut viral DNA, what if we could reprogram it? What if we could tell it exactly where to cut human DNA? Not just cut randomly. Cut with precision. In 2012, they published their breakthrough. They've figured out how to guide the scissors to any gene they want. You can edit DNA like you're editing a document. Find a gene causing disease. Cut it out. Or fix the mutation. Or insert a healthy gene. It sounds simple, but nobody had ever done this before. Every previous gene editing tool was clunky, expensive, slow. CRISPR-Cas9 is fast, cheap, and precise. It's a revolution. But here's the milestone that matters. October 2020. Charpentier and Doudna win the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. And it's historic. Because they're the first two women to share a science Nobel Prize. Not a woman winning alone. Not a woman sharing with men. Two women. Together. For a discovery that's only eight years old. The Nobel Committee doesn't usually work that fast. But this was too important to wait. Today, December 11, 2025, is Emmanuel Charpentier's 57th birthday. Born in France in 1968. And right now, CRISPR is in clinical trials treating sickle cell disease, certain cancers, inherited blindness. Victoria Gray from Mississippi had sickle cell disease her whole life. CRISPR edited her bone marrow cells. She's been symptom-free for years now. One of the first people ever treated with this. That's because two women met at a conference in 2011 and asked, what if we could edit DNA? 14 years later, they're saving lives. Colon follow it on this day in science for real science that shaped our world.